when opportunities are not given to you every day. And they don't come knocking on your door every morning. How are you supposed to take the time? And how are you supposed to create more value for yourself or the world? Such a profound question, right? But let's think about it. With everything we got going on every day, how are we supposed to take the time to follow our dreams? How are we supposed to take the time to take that first step with that side hustle you've been dreaming about? Before I answer these questions, just help me answer one question. What does a 20-year-old student, a 5-year-old kid, and a dictator have in common? <laughs> I got the answer. They all believe they can conquer the world. <laughs> and for my part, I haven't been 5 for a long time. And I haven't tried being a dictator yet. But that 20-year-old student, that was me. I had just landed a job, a great job, outside of my full-time studies. But I felt stuck. I felt like I was going through a midlife crisis at 20. At 20! So I decided to do what any reasonable person would do in my position. And I quit. I quit to pursue my passions and dreams. And let me tell you this, the first part, the first part actually went great. I did quit. <laughs> Second part was, I did not know what my passions were. And unlike Martin Luther King Jr., I did not have a dream. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what I did after this is what changed my life. I decided to make a list of companies that I actually wanted to work for, knock on their doors, and just ask them one question. What value can I create for you? What value can I create for you? Because it seemed like everybody's successful throughout time. It doesn't matter if it was in businesses, in side hustles, or in life. They provided value to gain something of value back. Then, then I found it. The company I wanted to work for. So, I went up, knocked on their door, poof, 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 poof. Maybe two times, I don't remember. And a man opened the door, a man named Victor opened the door, and he greeted me with a big smile. I greeted him back with an even bigger smile. I said, hi, Victor, my name is Fuad Shidane, and you don't actually know me, but I want to work for you and on this project. I want to bring you coffee, drive your kids to school, clean your toilets, just answer me one question. What value can I create for you? He laughed and said, Fuad, I just don't have the time for this today. I'm going to eat sushi with my wife. You'll have to come back another day. I said, no worries, Victor. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and just like clockwork, the next day I was back. Knocked on the door. He said he was going to go eat sushi, right? So I brought sushi too. <laughs> I said, hi, Victor. My name is Fuad Shidane. And now you do know me. And I want to work for you and on this project. I will bring you coffee, drive your kids to school, clean your toilets. Just answer me one question. What value can I create for you? The rest is history, my friends. Victor took me in as his intern. And after a couple and a few months of hard work, I got the opportunity to create and host business events, to meet leaders, to build relationships. And right then and there, in that moment, I had found the value I wanted to create. 
But I'll get back to that in a minute. But what happened here and what happened next is something that did not only affect me, but it affected the whole room. The pandemic hit. And seeing so many people losing loved ones, seeing so many people losing jobs, ways to provide for themselves and their families, I wanted to help. But I wanted to help in my own way. So I went back to basics. And I decided to ask everybody I know one question. What value can I create for you? I can tell you this, you guys will not be forgetting that question. <laughs> Today, I'm a podcast host guy, and I run the podcast, The Side Hustle. My vision with The Side Hustle was that I was going to interview entrepreneurs and successful business leaders, not on how they create and close big deals today, but how they created small opportunities for themselves in the beginning. Because that is what matters. And I can tell you this, I did not know anything about a podcast. I did not know how to use a microphone. And one day, whilst I sat there in my second office where I do some serious thinking, the toilet, <laughs> <laughs> I decided on the name, the side hustle. And I decided it would consist of uh, amazing interviews together with my team behind me, and we would also help and fundraise and build an educational platform in less fortunate suburbs across the country, like the one I come from, and help teach them about business. So, what I did, like most people do, I went onto Facebook, went into a group chat, and looked for a call log. How do I find these people? And I found a call log to the most successful people and everybody on the who's who list of Sweden. I gave them everybody a call. I gave them all a call, actually. A lot of to know, I can tell you that. They didn't even know who I was. But how that conversation started was that I picked up the phone and said, Hi, my name is Fu Ashidane, and you don't know me. <laughs> But I want to interview you about your journey. I want to laugh and cry with you for an hour. Are you down? Now, you guys might actually be wondering, did this work? It led to that in the first season, we got 30 episodes, thousands of listeners, and together with an amazing team, an amazing foundation, we fundraised over half a million Swedish crowns to bring an educational platform and an entrepreneurship competition to the less fortunate suburbs in the whole of Sweden. And the amazing part with this competition was that it was so many people that applied. Hundreds of people applied. And a handful of people got the seed money to start building on their idea. To start building on their dream. And creating the podcast was actually a reaction to the pandemic. Because there weren't enough platforms that provided the basic tools of how to create your own value. Now you guys should by this point have two questions for me. Fuad, what is value? And why side hustles? Well, value for my part and what it is, is something that you actually get to decide. You're the master and owner of that definition. I know for my part, and something I realized, remember how I said I would get back to it, and I had found the value I want to create? Well, for me, it was that side hustles is one way. I've been creating value my whole life. And what I wanted to do is help people provide their value to the world. So it doesn't matter if you're the barista that brings a smile to your client's faces each morning with an espresso. You're 
own espresso. Or the university student that sells t-shirts online to pay for your ice cream addiction. True story. <laughs> My key takeaways from traveling the country and interviewing everything from millionaires to billionaires to investors to authors to musicians to brokers. What else? Maybe yoga instructors? Everybody. <laughs> My key takeaway is the value. You with me? The value you want to create and are great at creating is already inside you. It's the thing you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. And what I choose to add to that is that a side hustle is one way you can provide your own and unique value to the world. So why not just give it a try? It doesn't matter if you want to sell paintings, if you want to start drop shipping, or sell your 95-year-old grandmother's old chairs. Just try. So my key takeaways and my ideas I believe are worth sharing is number one. It's not going to be easy you're probably and most likely going to hit some bumps on the road. But when you keep pushing through, when you push through the hard days, and when you push through the hard times, and you get to the other side of pain, there's something beautiful on the other side. Something beautiful that will help you build upon yourself. And the last and second idea I believe is worth sharing. You with me? These are profound life lessons, real profound life lessons from a 23-year-old on stage. <laughs> My final idea I believe is worth sharing is that if you ever want to create your own value to the world, just pick up the phone, call one person, and ask them one question. What value can I create for you? And remember this. I like your smile. Remember this. If I can, you can. So, we'll give it a try. I need you all, all everybody in this room to stand up. And I need everybody, come on now. I need everybody to stand up. Up there, down there, everywhere. I need you guys to stand up. Because we're going to say this question together. What value can I create for you? You with me? Okay, on three. One, two, ah, hold on. <laughs> you guys really like this word, I'm sorry. <laughs> you with me? On three. One, two, three. What value can I create for you? One more time. What value can I create for you?